So Adult Swim has been showcasing some really crazy animes lately. Since the 2000s, they're known for airing series like Dragon Ball, One Piece, and Naruto. But lately, they've been airing stuff like Licorice Recoil and My Adventures with Superman. So Adult Swim has been flourishing with shows, and the biggest to have come out right now is Ninja Kamui. Ninja Kamui is an action-packed series about a former ninja named Joe leaving his clan to live in hiding in America with his family. After his clan kills his whole family, Joe decides to return to his ninja ways and get revenge. With only 4 episodes out as of now, I want to dive in and explain my biggest problems with this series cause although this series is good, I feel like it has the potential to be amazing. But if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more anime content then why not hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and get straight into it. To start off with the positives, this series has some pretty good animation. The settings of America look really great and the character designs are drawn well, but it really does shine in its action scenes. The fights shown in all four episodes are amazingly fun and engaging. However, throughout the episodes, the fight scene quality does get lower and lower. The first episode is by far the best when it comes to its action. Episode 2 has a great action scene in the restaurant. And episode 3 was good, not bad, but not as amazing as the first. You don't have to watch the whole episode to get intrigued by the fighting. But those are the two factors that really carry this whole show. It's fight scenes and it's animation. The characters and the story both have the same kind of problems. The main characters we see are Joe, Mike, and Emma. Joe's story of getting revenge for his fallen family is not an original concept. But the way we start episode 1, seeing him with his family is pretty cute scene. Even though we knew it was going to happen, it still felt a little sad seeing them die. But the rest of his story is just hunting down his clan and his clan hunting him down. And it feels more of like a villain of the week type of story so far. Mike and Emma are police officers trying to catch Joe. But then after episode 2, the three just start working together. They honestly don't do anything to the story but give a normal perspective of all of the ninja stuff. The villains, as I said, are just villains of the week and the head of the clan is shown in short scenes and we're getting hinted at that Joseph and Joe have some kind of history together. The story is basically the character of Joe, a revenge story that's straight to the point and that can get dull really fast if they don't add any substance to it. So how would I fix this problem? Now just saying, I'm not a professional writer, I just have a dumb YouTube channel so I'm not saying that I can do better than the writers, I'm just stating my opinions as an anime fan. But episode 1 is the best episode of the whole series hands down. The combat is phenomenal, the story is at its peak and the main character is also at its peak. The only thing I change about the first episode is for the main villain to get away and have Joe look for him throughout the whole season. Then ending season 1 with a rematch showdown between them and then previewing the head of the clan as the next big villain. We can already see this happening in the series. The head of the clan is slowly being revealed in episodes and I'm guessing it's going to be fully shown at the end. But I would go with the Avatar route with the Fire Lord barely being shown and then having a Zuko in his place before the main battle. The reason is to build up the boss ninja, yeah that's that's his name I looked it up, as a main threat. Have some villains of the week show up because of Joseph and then have the boss ninja have some kind of tie into this. The series is showing more villains like Zai and the other councilmen but honestly if Zai was built up more I would have been a little bit more interested in their fight coming up in episode 5. Cause we saw this cool looking character in a small scene and then the next episode we learn his backstory and then in 5 minutes we just see them about to fight. It needs to take its time to make these fights more impactful. The reason some of the fights are getting less and less interesting is because they're just random villains of the week with no personal connection to Joe. The first episode he's fighting the same people that literally killed his whole family in front of him so it's intriguing when he eventually wins. With the boss ninja running away, the rest of the villains can be sent by him to kill Joe or they can get hunted down by Joe for some info on the boss ninja. So it makes that every fight matters to the story and to Joe. Now what about Joe? He had a great introduction and we still see that he has a little bit of PTSD and trauma which is good because we need to see more of this character. So far we don't know much about his personality other than that he's brooding and he's badass. But characters like Gojo can be both badass and show personality and goofiness. So for him, I would add some sort of trait or flaw. Maybe he's short tempered and would rush into situations with a blind rage. 
it will match with the story if the boss ninja escaped and now that he's desperately trying to find him. Reminds me a little bit of Sasuke, he's trying to gain as much power as he can so he can get revenge on his older brother. He tries everything to get stronger and reach his goals even if it breaks him. He gets moody and enraged for everything, even if it gets in the way of his goal. Now I'm not saying that Joe should be another Sasuke, but Joe and Sasuke have a similar end goal of revenge. Now the police officers, Emma and Mike, we see a little bit of backstory with Mike and then Emma is just there in the background. What I would do with them personally is instead of joining forces with Joe immediately, I would have had them hunt down Joe and then be another obstacle in the way of his revenge. This makes not only Joe and the officers better characters, but it makes the story way more engaging. Joe is being hunted down by everybody. So it's Joe versus the world, and eventually around the ending is when you can have Joe and the police start teaming up. Because no matter what, it's going to happen. Like people are going to want it to happen, so I'm not bothered that it happened. I'm just bothered that it's happening too early. But again, I'm no professional writer, but as an anime fan, I feel like these big changes would have made this show a little bit more enjoyable. However, there are only 4 episodes out, we haven't seen anything yet, and this series still has a lot of potential to being one of the best series to come out of 2024. We just got a lot of work to be done here. And so that's it for this video guys, thank you guys for watching. I know I sound a little bit weird is that I've been feeling a little bit sick this past week, but I hope you guys still enjoyed this video and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.